Hello and welcome to another episode. This Again, this is very unexpected. Uh, Kia and Hyundai Group are keeping me very busy this week. Um, I've just come across a press release from Kia UK announcing that they're giving uh, the Smart Regeneration System Plus away for free on the Kia EV3 and it's available in the App Store. So I've gone through the App Store and I've ordered it and accepted the terms and conditions and it's now ready to be installed in the car. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way through the Kia EU press release, which has got a little bit more detail than the UK-based one. So um, it says, Enhanced braking system enables smoother driving and extends Kia EV3's range. Kia EV3 features a regen braking system that increases energy efficiency and extends the vehicle range. This also helps to reduce the wear on mechanical brake and lowers the long-term running costs. Now Kia is taking regen braking to the next level with Smart Regeneration System Plus, available for the EV3 as a new free feature from the Kia Connect Store in both the EU and the UK. Regen braking converts kinetic energy into electrical energy during coasting. The Enhanced Smart Re Regeneration System Plus uses navigation and route information to make braking and speed adjustments ahead of time, without the driver needing to press the brake. This includes intersections, curves, roundabouts and other road ch changes. The system will also automatically decelerate for change speed limits to potentially save drivers from incurring costly speeding fines. Even when crossing a navigated route, intersections and changes to speed limits can sometimes take drivers by surprise, resulting in hard presses on the brake pedal and a lurching driving experience. Smart Regen System Plus delivers a smoother, more stable ride for everyone on board, whilst also adding range to the vehicle through optimised regen braking. The Kia Connect Store offers digital features and services that can elevate the vehicle's capabilities and performance, with the vehicle being updated remotely via over-the-air updates. Smart Regen Plus is available for free. Once added, the EV3 system is activated by pulling the right paddle behind the steering wheel for more than one second. Auto then appears on the driver's cluster and the speed is automatically adjusted using navigation information. At intersections, the automatic deceleration function adjusts the speed according to the number of lanes at an intersection. Over the course of a journey, smoother driving can help to reduce the relevance of car sickness, especially in children and pets. Right down the bottom, this bit is not on the Kia UK version of this press release. It says Kia plans to introduce an all wheel drive variant of the EV3 as well as the GT model expanding the range of choice for customers beyond the current two-wheel drive models. So all-wheel drive and GT models confirmed for Europe, but not for the UK. Come on, Kia UK, pull your finger out. We want this. <laughs> anyway, um, you may remember a, a video I showed the Smart Regen Plus um, a few months ago on my Kia Electric News episodes. I'll just remind you what was in that. The Smart Regeneration system has been enhanced. The upgraded function operates based on navigation information. Pull and hold the right paddle shifter to activate the smart regen system. It performs a one-time deceleration to the speed limit. It adjusts the speed according to the number of lanes at intersections, enabling smooth driving. The system activates in advance before entering a roundabout. Even in curves it decelerates to an appropriate speed and performs regen braking without the need to press the brake. Enhanced Smart Regeneration System through Kia Connect Store. I've gone through the App Store and I've ordered it and accepted the terms and conditions and it's now ready to be installed in the car. So I'm just about to install it now so I'm just going to flip the camera. Right, so I got in the car, turned it on, and purchase features are ready to be installed. Installation will start when the vehicle is turned off. Right, so I'll turn it off. Update now. Ensure the vehicle's in park. Oh, I've got to put the handbrake on. Okay, now turn it off. Update now. So I parked with the electric park brake off uh, with my wheel chalk to save it from sticking because it does when it's been so wet over the last couple of years. Following features have been installed, Smart Regen Plus. Okay, turn the car back on. 
Okay. Okay, there's one setting I found to do with the Spark Regen Plus setting, um, and it's in the EV menu. So I'll just take you into there. Okay, the only setting I found to do with this Smart Recuperation Plus is in the EV menu. So EV menu, settings, and then Smart Regeneration. And now, um, once you've got it activated, you've got nav-based recuperation. It says recuperation intensity is automatically adjusted according to the map information. So you can turn it off from there. Um, that's the only setting I've found so far. Right, I've set that to auto. So now I'm just going to do a test drive. So, see how we go. I've just seen it pop up a message about smart recuperation on the driver's cluster. So it, it must have auto braked then. So maybe that pops up every time it's going to auto brake. Right, the auto symbol's gone green, so that means it must be active and the navigation's active just there I haven't got my foot on the accelerator it's just doing its thing at the moment it's trying to figure it, it's figured out when to brake so yeah seems to be doing it but it hasn't pulled the car up to the full stop it definitely increased the regen as I approached see it's going up there creeping up See how I do coming up to this uh, traffic island. The green auto lights just pop back on and again. But is that because of radar and the car in front? So I took my foot off now and it's coasting it along. Is it going to break? Yes, it's going to break. But that is that because of the car in front? It would seem so, yeah. It slowed right down, whereas before, if you're in um, cruise control, it would just carry straight on. So if I ramp up to 50 now, So that's just coasting, which is great. It's going to be more efficient. If there's anything in the other driver's aid settings, no, nothing there. So I haven't got my foot on the accelerator at the moment. Sorry about the driver's attention warning. As soon as I take my eyes to look at something, it just nags. Right, let's go up to 50. Let's see how I go to this island. It's breaking now on its own. Yeah in advance as well and it's slowing right down so I think it's definitely working and it's, it is good this could be my new uh, method of uh, driving and when we go away up, up the weekend on a holiday see how, see how I get on um, right it's 50 up here so don't think it works in conjunction with smart cruise control yet though, because that would be ideal. See, I'm just... No, 
it is slowing down slightly going uphill but it's very very gentle and quite easy to use I need no traffic in front to prove this though so at the moment it's like it's just coasting it's it's brill so no regen has got to be more efficient as I've said so yeah like this back up to 50 as we go around the bend but it's probably slowed down for the bend right there should be nothing at the junction so see how we go it should come to a stop on its own it's slowing down it's slowing down that's not me oh yes absolutely brill it hasn't stopped completely but yeah so you still want to be paying attention at 4.7 miles per kilowatt hour but it is 18 degrees outside so it's not surprising really foot soft the accelerator now you can tell by um, the power meter whether I've got my foot in the accelerator. See it's off now completely so the, no power being pushed so it's just coasting. I think this is an excellent innovation by Kia and Hyundai. Can't wait to see what everybody else thinks. Here we go. It's slowing down on its own again. I haven't got my foot on the accelerator. If I find out more, I'll let you know. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.